so let us start with this facebook example right before starting this example i am assuming you have seen the module 13 in the videos okay which explains how to extract multiple components from a web page okay so uh, over here i have made a class known as facebook okay in which i am just navigating to the facebook page right now on facebook if you are trying to log in okay let let me write a script which will log in first right so you get the user id text field okay this is the user id text field so we'll have to log in and go to the friends page and we'll have to get the names of all the facebook friends okay so i am doing that this be with me driver dot find element by the x path of the email id field dot send keys the username okay and then you write the same script which will get the just a minute which will get the password field as well and type in your password okay so if you look at the password field then this is the x path of the password field okay you put the x path over here and you put your password over here look the thing is you can also encode your password that is possible okay and you'll have to use base64 encoding it's explained in module 17 right so if you write over here driver dot find element by the id password dot send keys what i'm going to do now is that after entering user id and password i'm going to simulate hitting the enter button of the keyboard on the next line sometimes you do that right instead of clicking on the login button you simulate hitting the enter button for that the control is still inside the password field okay and you write over here dot send keys keys dot enter keys is a internal class inside selenium api okay and it's it can simulate any key okay there are all the keys which are present over here keys dot enter you can write so you this will log you in the website okay once you are logged in hold on once you are logged in you need to go to your profile page in order to reach the friends page because if you go to the profiles page then you'll get the friends tab you click on this friends tab and you'll get all the friends over here okay right so the first thing is you get the x path of your profile link this is the x path okay so you write over here driver dot find element by the x path this dot click now the, it's very important that especially in a website like facebook you give some implicit weight driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait 30 seconds okay this is explained in the videos right if you are just watching the free videos directly you might find it a little bit weird implicit wait is the default wait timeout okay uh, for finding the elements right now after you click on this link okay you'll reach the next page where you will have to click on this friends tab okay this is the x path of the friends tab so that you reach the friends page so you write over here driver dot find element by the x path of the friends tab dot click fine i'll reduce the implicit wait to just 10 seconds okay if i run this program you will see that firefox will be launching okay you see that it will take you to facebook and log you in simulate hitting the enter button and after that click on your profile link and uh, you'll you'll actually reach this page wherein if you look at the output you get an output like this no such element found it's not able to find this link okay 
right it's not able to find this link i'll tell you the reason the reason is that of the because this id is varying the id over here it is 6 underscore 2 now these two numbers will always change in the id okay facebook has made the website in such a way that you know you cannot automate it you should not be able to automate it that's why they have given varying ids and all but there are workarounds for this okay you can build a different xpath over here you can go to this friends tab look they basically what is this friends tab it's a link okay this friends tab is a link whose text is friends okay so what you can do is that you can or whose uh hold on you can simply write over here it's a link whose text you can make this type of xpar is equal to friends right and you have to click on that link all right so i have removed the variable component i have i made a different xpar when i run this program okay when i run this program it will take you to facebook it will log you in it will go to the friends page you see we have seen this earlier as well and see it clicks on the friends page all right now after clicking on the friends page you need to extract the names of all your friends all right now how do you do that if you look at the friends you are having right if i look at the first friend name right this is the it's a link basically okay it's it, that link is inside a division with this particular class okay if i look at the second friend name the second friend name is also a link that link is inside this division with this particular class the so all the friend names okay they are links under this particular division all right so all the friend names have the same division and they are under the link and xpath like this that is double slash division whose class is this is the class and under that you have a link okay and if i click on eval this eval button over here in firebug all the friend names will be highlighted so this is the xpath which is common for all the friends okay so if i take this xpath and i had as i had explained in module 13 to extract multiple components from a web page if i write driver dot find elements by this x path okay this will give you a list of web elements known as links okay you import the web element import list make sure you import list from java dot util package okay right and now you can print total link total friends the total friends would be how many how many the size of the link list links dot size okay you can also write a for loop which will print all the friend names that is for web element E in links okay system dot out dot print ln e dot get text so this i had explained in module 13 right so if you run this you will be able to print the names of all your facebook friends so it logs you in the website and it goes to the friends page and after going to the friends page you see that 
it's saying that total friends are 20 and you get the 20 friends over here now i don't have 20 friends i have many other friends as well those friends they are loaded if i scroll down this is the ajax space component if i keep on scrolling down i have more and more friends loaded so first i need to scroll down till the time all my friends are loaded and then i need to extract and print them so how do i do that okay by default i'm getting 20 friends but i don't want that i want to keep on scrolling down and getting and i want to get all the friends that way okay to do that you will have to write a logic okay you will have to write a while loop okay i, I for initially i will write an infinite while loop right i'll comment out this code and in this infinite while loop i'll scroll down okay how do you scroll down in selenium you need to use javascript executor for that okay let me tell you the logic right what you do is that you first extract in this while loop you extract the friend names okay i'll call it friend list before scrolling is this okay then what you will do is that you will scroll to the last friend you have in the list if there are 20 friends i'll scroll down to the y coordinate of the 20th friend okay to the y coordinate i'll i'm telling you the logic first then i'm going to write it right then you extract the friend list again that is after scrolling okay right now you keep keep on doing this infinitely because this is a infinite while loop okay so i will just print over here system dot out dot print ln total friends let me print over here are equal to friendlets list before scrolling dot size so what i'll do is that i will scroll down extract the friends again and i'll keep on doing this and i can keep a condition over here that if the size of the friend list before scrolling becomes equal to the size of the friend list after scrolling then i need to come out of my infinite while loop okay right because if the both the friend lists before scrolling and after scrolling if they become equal that means you don't have any more number of friends right in that case you can probably you can print the name of the friends first print names all friends okay and then you can come out of the infinite while loop so this is the kind of logic we are going to use now how do you scroll down to the y coordinate of the last friend so first you will have to extract the web element corresponding to the last friend which will be from the friend list before scrolling dot get me the index of the last friend would be the size of this list minus one okay right from this list get me the element okay get me the last element what would be the last element the total size of the list minus one if the size is 10 then the last element is the ninth element because the index starts from zero okay right you get the last friend and you get the y coordinate of the last friend by typing last friend dot get location dot y so this will give you the y coordinate of the last friend then you use the java 
script executor object in web driver you cast the driver object to javascript executor object okay and you write javascript executor dot execute the script window this is the javascript function right we had studied earlier scroll to okay to certain x coordinate x i will give 0 but y i will substitute over here as the y coordinate of the last friend so this command will scroll the window down downwards after that i will just put a brief delay of say 4 seconds because the new friends they load up and they take a little time Look, there is no evil in writing thread.sleep. At times people say that you should not write it, but you should not use it many times in your program. Okay, I have seen people writing thread.sleep after every second line. That is not advisable. If you are using sometimes in your program, that is fine. I have given this thread.sleep a pause for some time because of the scrolling effect ha has to take some time, right? The new friend list has to load. It takes a little time, right? So if I run this program, you will see that this line over here will keep on printing the updated number of friends this line system dot out dot print every time the loop runs it will print and in the end this if statement will be executed when the both the sizes will become equal you see that okay it is scrolling down it is scrolling down and it is it's printed total friends as 40 now and hold on let me run it again just a minute i'll run it again and you know selenium 3.0 i'm i'm running it on the beta version it is little you know unstable i've seen that maybe they will make it stable with a passage of time okay so it scrolls down and it is scrolling infinitely now you see that it is keep on it, it's keep on scrolling down and it's keeping scrolling down so over here you see the number of friends are increasing you can ignore these errors warnings there they are there they, these are just normal things okay so you see that number of friends they are increasing so that is what we wanted so i have over 1000 friends so it will take a lot of time but yes, when it reaches the limit, it's going to come out of this while loop. Okay. Right. So this is how you can extract the names of all the friends you're having in Facebook.